Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and right now we'll take a quick look at Virtual DJ 8.2, the new update that includes Ask the DJ, which is an online request feature for your guests, and the new 8 pads layout in the virtual decks, as well as the pads editor. There are minor tweaks to the already full-featured Virtual DJ 8, and we'll take a look and see if they're any good. So first off, let's take a look at Ask the DJ. Ask the DJ is a feature that lets people send you requests over the internet. You just give out your Ask the DJ URL, which you can see here, and guests can then point their browsers to it. Once there, guests can type in their names and requests, and you'll see it in your Ask the DJ list. So let's try that right now. Okay, so I've got Ask the DJ highlighted over here in my folders list, and we can see the URL here in the middle window. It's ask.the.dj slash user 859AT11. Now you can change this by right clicking and choosing change keyword and you can type in whatever you want. But for now, let's just keep this as is. So let's say I'm, I'm at a party, I'm DJing and I tell the audience, okay, if you guys want any requests, just head to this URL and type in the request. So let's say you've got a guest that goes online. That person will be sent to this window. This is the Ask the DJ portal. So let's say I'm a guest and I want to send a request to the DJ. My name, let's see, my name is Shernalyn. And my request is, I don't know, um, Dr. Jones by Aqua. Cause like it's one of the hottest new tracks around right now. Send message. So this is what your guest is gonna see. Your request has been sent to the DJ. That's done. Now I'm going to go to Virtual DJ 8. So now I'm going to see that request pop up in my Ask the DJ list. And here it is, Dr. Jones by Aqua from Shernalyn and the time that the request was sent. Now I can right click and choose Lookup, which will have Virtual DJ 8 look for this track in my collection or remove the request if I don't want to play it and I don't want it I don't want it to bother me anymore. So I'm just gonna choose look up because I wanna try dropping this song. Let's click and virtual DJ will look for it in my collection. And if it's not in my collection, gasp, I don't have it. It's gonna go online to look for the track. So it doesn't have it in Content Unlimited, which is its content subscription service. So what it did was it cast a wider net by using NetSearch Audio. So I've got the tracks over here. And what NetSearch does, by the way, uh, is it scars the rest of the internet beyond the Content Unlimited library for the track that you're trying to search for. Now, you don't always get like a high quality result here. Sometimes you get like, in this case, it's a karaoke version. Or sometimes you get a video rip. So the best thing to do is to preview the track first. So let's try this one. I'm gonna preview it, pressing the preview button over here. And it's downloading the track. And you can hear it. Okay, so I like what I'm hearing so far. Get a left click and drag it onto a deck. So now I've got the track over here. So there, that's just one way of uh, using Ask the DJ to get requests from your audience. Now, apart from asking them to head on over to that URL, you can also have them tweet in the requests. So this. Uh, fun way for you to engage with your audience via Twitter. So the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to open up um, the Twitter integration by right clicking on Ask the DJ and then choosing this one, show requests from Twitter, hashtag virtual DJ 859AT11. So if you want to change that one, just go to change keyword. Let's say I want to put Joey Santos bangers or whatever, just click that. And then now, guests will be able to tweet you a request using the hashtag Joey Santos Bangers. So let's say I am a guest, again, <laughs> I'll go to Twitter and I'll be like, okay, something a little bit newer. Um, DJ Snake Middle, Joey Santos Bangers. And then I'm going to tweet that. And then I'm going to go back to Virtual DJ 8 and you'll see it over there. So you've got DJ Snake 
middle, and it's from, well, the guest, Joey Santos. So again, I just right click on this and then choose look up or remove. Remove again if you don't want to see it anymore in your Ask the DJ list. So I'm going to look it up. So here I've got several results from the Content Unlimited library. And let's say I want to drop this one. So just left click and drag it in here. There you go. So there you go. Uh, this is just, again, a quick and fun way to get requests uh, from Twitter or if you want to lead them to that virtual DJ, Ask the DJ portal, you can do either of the two. So that's it for Ask the DJ. Uh, I think this is going to be great for um, DJs who do a lot of mobile gigs or pro DJs, people who do a lot of weddings. This, you know, If you flash like the hashtag on screen, just get people tweeting the requests. It's fun. And then after that, uh, you can engage with the audience. Um, you know, whoever sent you a request, you can just send them a reply or a mention. You know, thank you for uh, sending that request. Yada, yada, yada. I've got a gig next week, et cetera, et cetera. You can use that as a promotional tool. So I think that's pretty awesome. And at the same time, um, I think it's just like a handy way of having all your requests in the list within Virtual DJ 8 instead of having it on, you know, soggy pieces of napkins with scribbles. It's fun. It looks gimmicky at first, but it just it'll just depend on how you use it in the context of your DJ set. All right. So next, let's take a look at the virtual decks. So that's right. Now you've got eight pads per deck, two rows, and this mirrors the performance pads layout that you'll see in most DJ controllers these days. You can set these to do different functions via this drop down menu over here. So right now it's set to hot cues, which is basic and it's uh, the standard setting, but you can change it to Q loop, slicer, sampler, beat jump, loop roll, and all the other selections over here. Now, if you choose custom, this turns the pads into blanks. That's because you can specify what they do via the pads editor. And you can access it by clicking edit in the pads drop down menu over here. So here you can set each individual pad to perform a function of your choosing. So let's go to custom. So I'll already click there. And let's say you want pads one to four to be beat jump pads. So you can do that. All you gotta do is go to audio and then choose beat pad one. And this takes a little bit of um, programming via the Virtual DJ 8 scripting language, but it's not really that difficult to learn if you want to get into it. Let's just fill this up and see what it looks like. There you go. And let's say you want hotkeys for the bottom rows of pads, pads 5 to 8. You can set them that way too. So just click pad 5 and then cues and then hotkey. Say it's hotkey one, pads, cues, two, and let's get the last one in here. There we go. So let's close that. When you close the window, you'll see that you've got all your four beat jump pads over here at the top and four hot cues here at the bottom. So let's try loading a track here that I've got in my collection. I don't want to hear any more aqua. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so let's try to drag this one here. And if I press play. Those are your beat jumps, and I can even set my hotkeys over here. So there you go. You can have um, any pad function that you want set here in the custom drop downs. So all you gotta do is just go to the pads editor and set them to the functions that you want them to execute.
So this is pretty cool if you like to add a dash of you know controllerism during your DJ sets, or uh, even if you want to go a little deeper by customizing the performance pad layout of your controller according to your needs. So all in all, the new Virtual DJ 8.2 update is a good one. As a DJ, it's a fun little feature, especially if you're a mobile or pro DJ or someone who gets lots of requests during gigs. It's a way to leverage your Twitter engagement. Plus, the new pads layout is a welcome addition, and the pads editor really lets you tweak with the configuration of the performance pads without having to mess around with the scripting language too much. If you're a virtual DJ8 user, the update is a no-brainer. Check out my full review over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and hit subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.